Hello guys, welcome back to the Rising Tide. I am Darlington and in this video I will be showing you how to use Expo on an emulator. Now in the previous video I showed you how to run an Expo app on your phone. And in this video I will be showing you how to use an Android emulator to run and test your your code. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So what you need is you're going to open your browser and type in download android studio now you're going to click on the first link that shows up and that is going to open the android studio official website here you will click on the download android studio hedgehog when you click on it it is automatically going to detect your operating system and it's going to start select the operating system for you so what you do is you scroll down to the to the end of the page and then you're going to click on i have read and agreed on the above terms and conditions now as you can see it has already detected mine i'm using a linux machine click on the button download android studio headshot and that is going to start the download process for your operating system so once the download starts as you can see this is this is mine i already have it downloaded so i'm just going to cancel cancel this so once you finish downloading you're going to go to to your downloads folder where you're going to have the file simply double click on the file to start the installation however if you're on linux like myself here what you need to do is you're going to right click on the file and click on extract here and this is going to extract the tar.gz file inside the current directory as you can see mine is extracting uh, this is the progress here once the extraction process is complete you're going to open the, the folder and inside this uh, Android Studio directory you're going to go to the bins directory here you will see a file called studio.sh what you do is you right click on this on this uh, on this empty space and you open the terminal. That is, you open the terminal in this directory. Terminal open. Let me let me zoom in a little bit. What you need to do is you need to execute the file studio.sh. So just type dot slash studio.sh and you hit enter. Now this is going to start the the installation process for Android Studio. As you can see, this is the Android Studio Hedgehog. Now this process might take several minutes to complete. So I'm going to pause the installation process here again. And we'll come back once the once this installer has finished executing. Now, if you're on Windows, you have a similar process. And uh, once the installation process finishes, we're going to come back to it and uh, we'll continue from there. I'm going to assume that we're all at this level. If you had any issues getting to this level in the installation process, please comment it down below and we'll help you out. Once you're here, click on next. Select standard installation, click on next click next here you're going to accept the these terms and conditions and click these terms and conditions for this and for this one too you're going to accept the terms and condition and you click on next you turn to click on finish and it's going to start downloading all the necessary emulator files that you accepted in the previous um, slide so all you do is you wait for a couple of minutes for that process to complete here and you click on finish to complete the installation once you're at this level simply click on more and create device manager this is going to open a window and you click in this window you click on the plus icon to create a new virtual device 
that is going to give you a list of Android devices. What you, what I recommend is you select a device that has a Google Play. Now, devices that have Google Play Store in, embedded inside have this uh, Google Play icon. So you click on. Uh, I'm going to select the Pixel 4, which has a big, which has a Google Play. I click on Next. It's going to load um, some operating system, some Android operating system. So you, you're going to select uh, the, the operating system that you prefer. I'm going to select uh, uh, this one. Now, if you have uh, an error here, like a warning saying it's KVM, uh, dev KVM not, not available. Uh, please comment down below and i'll do a video on how to resolve that so you, you select the operating system by double clicking on it it's going to start downloading the operating system now this stuff this uh, operating system is about 1.3 gig it's always greater than 1 gig so it may take some time to install depending on your internet connection After the installation process has completed, you are going to see your downloaded device. As you can see, here is mine, the Android S, the Android 12 with Google Play. Click on it and then click next. Uh, you can name the device. I'm just going to leave my last pixel for stuff. And then you click finish. Yeah. This is my manual uh, Android device. I'm going to click on the play. I'm going to start the ABT manager. Here is your device. I'm going to minimize this now. Uh, minimize this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the app we built, we created in the last video. So I'll just do open a new terminal and I'll do ECD. Oh, let me zoom in. Okay, I'll do CD documents sorry good uh -huh. this is the app we developed we created last time it's the good period to open the app in an in effect it's editor in this case it's vs code I'm simply going to open the terminal here by pressing terminal new terminal then I'm going to run the server using the command yarn start Now the server is starting. Let's check. Let's check our emulator to see if it's finished booting. Oh, as you can see, it has finished booted. So just come back here to the terminal and you press E to open on Android. So it's going to try to detect the path to the emulator, and once and once it discovers that it is not installed. It's going to start downloading Expo Go on the emulator. As you can see, it's downloading the Expo Go app on the Android emulator.
Alright, so guys, I ran into some issues uh, starting the server and I had to try a lot of methods to try to resolve it. But uh, at the end, what I decided to do is uh, I decided to install the Expo app directly on the emulator by connecting the Google Play and then installing the, the Expo app on it. And then once you have it installed, let's say. You have to connect it manually by once like you come here you copy this uh local url and you go back to the expo to the emulator and then you paste in that uh copy url here and then you connect manually so i'm just going to paste it again and then you connect and then it's going to build for that device as you can see this is it that built successfully and you have your app running on your android on your emulator i'm just going to modify something inside the app.js file i'm just going to change this text to say app running on emulator save that and and there, there it is so um that's how you install and run expo on an android emulator so if you have any comments if you have any questions please comment it down below and uh, i'll do well to answer reply to all your comments there's also a discord server in the description so if you have any issues or you need a one one v one assistant please join the discord and uh, i do well to reply to all comments thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good day